What am I looking for? Oh fuck, what is that? That's disgusting! Who are you? Hello everyone, this is Nutter Simon and welcome back to Miles Edwards 8th Attorney's Investigation Prosecutor's Path 2! Hey! <coughs> Sorry. I almost didn't breathe. <laughs> it's still part one! Great! I haven't reached the end yet! Ow, frick my legs. John's rehearsal. It wasn't feeling too great yesterday, so I made a few bloopers. Great! So you said you didn't feel well. So you tell me more. Hey, concretely, what was wrong? It doesn't matter. I just wasn't feeling well, alright? You weren't feeling well, and yet, maybe you drank too much milk? Wah! How do you know? No, I mean, that's not it! Great! So he didn't feel well because of his stomach. When I was young, I was told that chewing milk makes it easier on your stomach, you know? This conversation is over! Anyways, I made a few bloopers. <laughs> you were so weird. <coughs> They're reshooting the scene today, so... Weird. So they plan to reshoot the scene today, and you were practicing for that last time. <coughs> My mistakes cause a lot of trouble for the people around me. I'm pro, so practicing that much more is natural. He certainly does have an admirable sense of responsibility, unlike some other idiots. John is incredibly dedicated to his craft. He didn't even make him any major mistakes in those bloopers. So he said if it would make the movie just a tiny bit better... Shut up! You don't need to go around babbling about stupid stuff like that! Ah, I'm sorry. Where's the mother? If only he was a little more cooperative, I have no complaints. <coughs> anyway, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I decided to rehearse on my little old, that's all. John, about your testimony just now. John Marsh! Don't I always tell you? If you're going to practice by yourself, you have to let me know beforehand. <clears throat> I, I, I know. <laughs> My time to speak was completely stolen away from me. I shall ask you once more. John, about your testimony just now. <clears throat> but you know, John, can you stop? <clears throat> I think that's really great. Again? <clears throat> I bet putting in an honest effort like that will make someone even more tired. You go from a little thief to a little thief. Then someday, you'll be a great thief. Can you shut up with that? I'll be doing my best, so you do your best too. Okay, John? <coughs> Ahem. Now then, if I may. John, do you often rehearse in that way? At last, at long last, I finally got to ask my question. <laughs> I do it all the time. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary. But where's the falling head? There are no mistakes in the testimony, correct? Of course there was no mistakes. Just normal peaceful night. Nothing out of the ordinary happened at all. Great. Peaceful night? How can you say that when an incident like this occurred? <clears> Take <throat> still tater chop. Please don't get serious. Uh, angry, sorry. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Anything at all about the incident? That's the impression I'm getting. Uh, isn't there evidence that shows something did happen last night? The floor! I don't have to waste dealing with the child's eye. Let's present the contradiction. Where is that foot? Objection. That one. Thank you. <clears throat> I was like looking at the camera or something. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary. That's a lie, isn't it? <clears throat> we have evidence right here. Could that be from your recording? That's right. It's a video you recorded of your performance. Ah. What? You're telling me you have a video from last night? Exactly. And in this video, there's a clearly something that is out of the ordinary. Uh, 
a big ass footprint. This is a monster's footprint. Would you say that monster's footprints are commonplace on a film set? John, why did you conceal this video from us? <laughs> no reason, really. Oh god. Nay, pup. This is no joking matter. We had a reason to hide it, right? John Marsh! Oh god. Answer him clearly. Who's your husband? But mom! Well? I didn't want anyone to see me rehearsing. Great. In other words, you're about others seeing you practice. Yeah. Got a problem with that? Nah! <laughs> Say that's why you hit the evidence? John! Yee! Yeah! <laughs> Yee! Quit nagging me! You're already buzzing me! What more do you want? Yeah, the blueprints were there, but I just practiced and headed home. How oh come you're so calm after finding those blueprints? It's a monster, you know? A real life monster! I thought it was just a part of the set. Yeah, also I would. Besides, there are lots of other weird stuff around here too. Here's the special chief! This kid's really suspicious! Can you both stop it? You both are idiots. Alright, the smell of a scoop stings to high heaven. <coughs> Shut up. We're done talking. We're not done here yet. What now? The monster footprints weren't the only unusual things that happened last night. Here's I some monster footprints. Where'd the head go? Shouldn't the head at least fall off at some point? Take that! A monster's head fell from the roof of that building. Surely you must have known about that. Nah, I don't know anything about it. You're cute. But stubborn. Is that true? I told you, I just practiced a bit and then went back. I don't know anything about Mozilla's head falling or anything like that. Or do you have evidence to show that I know something? Wow, you and your mother are just the same. Huh? Certainly isn't any evidence of that. It's also possible that it fell after John had already gone back. If there's no evidence, then I actually said we're done talking. It seems that like John doesn't really want to talk about last night. Could he be hiding something else? What the hell? Wait up. <clears throat> uh, it's as I thought. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. This video backs up my logic. What are you talking about? Is there something in the video that relates to the case? Yeah. Take a good look hard at the monster's costume on the top left. Oh, what is there? Wait, my screen is not so good in the light, so... There's a hole in the Godzilla. My Mozilla, sorry. Try comparing it with the one over there right now. Yeah, the zipper. Looks like it's just hanging there limply though. Zipper on its back, and zip that tight. <clears throat> Zipper on its back. <clears throat> yeah, it's open. This is. This discrepancy is. Yeah, the difference is plain to see. In the video, the zipper is clearly open. Someone was inside. What sweater? You do like that. Like this. Hi, but <laughs> what <laughs> is the question? It's the powers. The costume zipper usually it's always zipped up tightly when it's not in use. <clears throat> it's the prosecutor. Do you remember my logic from before? Two nights ago, Miss Courtney pushed the president off the roof and killed. Him. Oh, don't tell me you stuff him in there. <clears throat> Snuck into the film lot. Nobody used the bot! <coughs> Here. Wouldn't it be easy to hide a body in the costumers? Hide behind the script. But they were rehearsing! They're saying that the body was hidden inside the costume. That's right. Judge Courtney, two nights ago, you pushed the president off the roof, off the top. Then you hid the body inside the monster's costume. I did no such thing. <coughs> Say what you want, but you're the only one who could have done it. Objection. That should have already been proven impossible. 
The rear field was locked. The film lot was locked at the time. Judge Courtney could not have entered the place. So and what if there was an accomplice? The sun? I'll tell you my reasoning. So listen up. What in the blazes are you talking about? When the president was pushed off the roof, the ground was waiting at the film lot. Oh, come on! If John wasn't accomplished, the problem with the locks would be resolved. Two of them hit the president's body. Inside the monster costume over there. Then when Will Powers would go in, he would feel the body, wouldn't he? You think this crime had such an elaborate plan? To take a life of a nation's president. An elaborate plan is to be expected. Don't you think? John would never take part in such a crime. You're the one being suspected. The words don't carry much weight. Freak you. I wouldn't think those two had sufficient motive for something like this. Well, they had a movie that we didn't know much about. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> mm, you were the last one to meet the president, and you still keep the details of the secret. Don't you think it's only natural what you're being suspe suspected? Just tell the truth, honey. It's Courtney. Is there no other way for you to tell us your secret? My apologies. I just cannot, no matter what. However, when the time I can talk about it comes, I will surely let you know. So if you could please leave you. Is that what you wanted to say? That's all what criminals say. And you, Pop, if you got an explanation, hurry up and spit it out. I didn't do nothing. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Both mother and son won't talk. You still gonna defend him like this? It's true. Judge Courtney's actions are a mystery. Mystery. However, we still don't know whether or not that ties in with motive for murder. Yeah, that's right. The motive for murder can wait. For now, let's talk about the situation surrounding the crime. You freaking idiot. Sometimes, I admire your beginning, but you're just getting dumber without your policemen. Really dumb. Really dumb. Ow, me finger. And the fact that these are the only two, uh, these two are the only ones who could have done it. Ugh. Oh my god, really? The band aid is all over the place. It's everywhere. Stop sticking to me. This is wrong. Rare Beautiful, Mother and Son Theory. Agent Lam, don't tell me you're saying John was an accomplice. He's too young to be that. Still looks like a great school kid. Even he's got a, he's even got a kitty backpack. How could he be an accomplice? There's just no way. Like I said, John's already in middle school, and the backpack is a part of his costume. Oh God. Long he's it. Nothing. No matter how young the cop, never pity an ungrateful pup. He may be a little brat, but the villain deserves no mercy. Um, so Mr. Longy didn't make any allowances for age. Mr. Rosegitter, you're just not defending him because he's a pup, are you? Hmm. Of course. That was never my intention. I shall present suitable evidence in the due course. Huh. I'm looking forward to it. My logic's just getting started. You dumb logic. Just when the comments, the problem with the locks has been resolved. Never mind that. Two of them hit the president's body. How do you do that? Suppose those two were accomplices. Why would they have needed to leave the body hanging there for an entire day to rot? Why don't you give it a rest and take a good hard court look at it? Yeah, good hard look at reality. Thanks to their trickery, our investigation has now been confused up until now. Doesn't that about answer your question? <clears throat> Got it. Those two hit the body. Inside a monster costume over there. How? Come on! In the video, we cannot see the inside of the costume. So, can you really say for certain that the body was placed inside? <clears throat> yeah, I'll give you that much. In that case, why don't we try examining the 
inside of their costume. There might be some traces left inside. Okay. May we examine the inside of the costume, please? Sure, go ahead. But it might be kind of stinky since I sweat a lot, ew. Incredibly dirty. Ew. That's strange. We always make sure to clean it after using so that sweat doesn't damage the costume. Not so fast. Isn't this just proof that someone besides you used this costume? I'd say that dirt from the body probably got into the costume. <coughs> the president's body did fall on the top of the monster's footprint. That must be where the dirt came from. Are you satisfied now? No, I'm not. I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! Where's the crime scene notes? I need it. <coughs> no, not that one. No. 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 No, I went back too much. <clears throat> there. Thank you. Objection! You're just dumb. Dirt got onto the costume when the body was hidden inside. Is that really the case? <clears throat> you have a problem with that? There's a fair amount of dirt inside the front of the costume. Yes, that is a lot of dirt. <coughs> Excuse me. However, I would like you to focus on the state of the body as it is. <coughs> oh god. It's been lying on top of dirt, and yet there's no dirt on the front of the body. That's correct. <coughs> if the body was really inside the costume, the front would have been dirty. And it's strange that the front of the body isn't stained with much more dirt. Exactly! It was only stained with yellow liquid. Much like pee. E. Well, how would you explain it? What, the dirt in the costume? <clears throat> On the video footage, it's very likely that someone was inside the costume. Just who could have it been? <clears throat> Where have I seen this? What's the matter, okay? <clears throat> I feel like I remember seeing something that looked like this dirt somewhere before. Where was it? There were bits of grey fragments mixed in with the dirt. What? Where does this... Dirt? Where does this... Where does this... Seem? Ah, you've broken it already? <coughs> Don't break it! <coughs> I end up with no voice that's your fault. That's dirty. No, that's not more mosquito. That was my band-aid. <clears throat> Remember you gave me a cut last night? My finger? Whoa, whoa. There. <clears throat> okay, here you go. Here you go, kiddo. Something must have gotten stuck to it, and lots of it m I m might have. That looks like cement. Something got stuck to it. This might m may merit a closer up. See, that looks like it was stuck on the inside of the costume. Cement, 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 cement. Here it is. Oh, that's right, this. <coughs> <Take that. coughs> this dirt has some gray bits mixed into it. And what of it? <coughs> we found an item belonging to a certain man that was covered in the same type of dirt. That is to say, these gloves. <coughs> Those dirty things are certainly look the same. But tell me, what exactly is this gray substance? Cement! Concrete! <clears throat> the gray substance must be the fragments of concrete. You mean... The stuff that was scattered around the uh, monster's footprint. Exactly. You mean the floor. Don't need to say the stuff. 
Meanwhile, who do, do, do these love? Who, why do these love groups are staying with the same kind of dirt belong to? I want to remember, we found it in Blaze's place. Early today, we went to Blaze's garage. There, we discovered these dirt stained gloves. Come to think of it, there were also hammers, shovels, and other tools placed inside as well. Oh god. Why wouldn't mechanics gloves intended to be used on machines be covered in dirt? <clears throat> if we broke the concrete with the hammer and then dug into the soil with the shovel, then it's only natural for dirt or like that to be get to get on the gloves. What the hell? What's that guy doing? He's involved in so many crimes. <clears throat> the true nature of the monster's footprints has been made clear. It's possible that these footprints were dug up by the last of the best. What is he doing? <clears throat> It's possible. Hmm. It's possible, you say. Please do enlighten to me. <coughs> but I honestly have no clue. Why not do we do something like that? Why did he make? Why did he talk? The put. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? Possible was digging something. Digging something up. What is he digging? He was trying to dig his brain at something. It probably went something like this. Last night at the spot, there was something that Blaze needed to dig up. For that reason, he broke the lock on the back door and sneaked into the film lock. Using the hammer and the shovel, he was set to work. Why did he shape it into the footprints then? Placed the items he dug into his bag, but before he could fill the holes, that's when John came to practice. <clears throat> exactly. Blaze panicked and had no choice but to hide himself inside of the Mozilla costume nearby. Great! And thank you to do so much from just a pair of dirt stained gloves. However, all of this is merely a possibility. There's no, still no proof that he was the one who was hiding inside that costume. Or we know, we might have left the scenes when he finished it. <clears throat> On the contrary, such proof does exist and can be seen in the video. Where escorted Blaze is definitely inside the what? The, definitely inside the film. Line. What? Can I see what is that? I can't blame Agent Long for not noticing. <clears throat> Where's the bag? One in John's video, along with the state of today's garage. And it's all too clear that Blaze is still here. <clears throat> Why does it involve so many things? And the. There! Take that. What is this guy doing? <clears throat> A bag placed near the costume. There was an identical one inside Blaze's garage. The first, the dirt on the gloves, and now the bag. It seems there's a connection. What is he doing? <clears throat> That's my proof. Blaze was inside the costume. Ergo, the president's body could have not been hidden inside it. Aya! <laughs> Aya, Tisi na! It seems I was able to refute Agent Lang's reason. Someone needs to go investigate Blaze's out right now! We need to know what's inside that bag! Hey, yes sir! Hold it! <clears throat> now what? Yeah, pop down and listen up! You just be saying whatever you're back for y'all! What the hell are you? And the noisy one returns. Out there, the footprints of mighty Mozilla! They ain't some random holes dug up for old coop. <clears throat> I believe the true nature of these footprints have already been proven quite logically. Logic smart. I ain't buying it. <clears throat> Say what you want, but I want to know what I saw, and I, s I don't know what I saw. I saw Mozilla. She referring to what she saw Mozilla out the window of the Grand Tower. Great. Upon your journalist soul, you ain't having none of it. That statement is an insult by journalists everywhere. Ah, oh, that's right. There's more to them monsters than just your food. I remember hearing that Sunny Noah. Uh, sorry. 
Over there was seen with the master earlier. Just talking to the camera! I reckon that gal over there says she witnessed it herself. And these two are together, all meaningful talk right to a If we only knew just what the monster really was, I think those two would fight. <coughs> Mr. Edward, isn't there anything you can do? The monster's true identity is a camera and the goddamn camera thing neck. Without much trust, let's see what we can do. There's something y'all ain't telling us about the monster. They call Asim. Asim right now! Please settle down. Regarding the true identity of that monster, I already know what it is. What you say? <coughs> That's right. The video John recorded provided the hint that I needed. What you talking about? It's Nicola Sogard. When she went to check up on John's practice. At that time, she mistook something for Gurdy. She mistook the camera for Gurdy. Monster can be seen in this photograph. Wow, ain't it just some plain old souvenir photo? Y'all don't really think you can pull the wool over my eyes of a pro like me? You stupid pro. <sighs> Why did she see that she was took for girl? That. That is what you mistook for Gertie, stupid. Naturally, Gertie's true identity was this camera frame. What? <clears throat> the video John recorded was shot from a fairly high up. A shot from this position would be impossible without a camera crane. But there ain't no way Miss Nicholas would mistake a camera for crane from them, Gertie. <clears throat> I wonder about that, Miss Nicholas. Yes. Earlier you said the prescription for your glasses didn't match your eyesight anymore, right? Correct? That's why you keep getting messy things up. And my head is itchy. My forehead. Yes. Lately it seems my, my eyesight has suddenly gotten all worse. Would you say that you weren't able to see Gurry very clearly in the guard? That's right. It's silhouette all as, as all I can make out. It's a kind Remember what Nicholas said? Miss Nicholas said? <coughs> As I quote, its skin was really scaly. Most look like a ripta. <coughs> Caramel's canes don't get no flesh on them, it, let alone skin. It's bare steel frame. That's a certainly true, at least in the case of this photo. <coughs> However, last night, it did have skin. You'll just do whatever you want and get in the way of our big scoop, ain't ya? No, not my intention. But since I've come this far, it's time to put an end to your nonsense. Uh, Gertie's skin is right before our eyes. The big guy that. Now would you shut up already? <clears throat> As Miss Nicholas stated in her testimony, it looked like it was going to rain last night. Where it well, it ac never actually rained. John still covered the camera crane with. Rainproof sheet. To which Miss Nicholas looked like a monster skin. What? Yeet! What did the trap still? You gotta be kidding me! Isn't that right, John? And you saw through it all. Not bad, old man. I'm not that old! Unfortunately, the gertie that Miss Nicholas saw was nothing more than a illusion. Not again! Look like my dream has shriveled up and died once again. Mentor. I believe you both are stupidly disqualified. Some uh, seems like things have finally settled down. <clears throat> I really thought the bar was hiding something for me. Guess I had it wrong or wrong. Now that we've figured out the true form of the monster, everyone seems refreshed. And actually there are two people here who are totally bummed out. Agent Long! What now? <clears throat> the report is in turn. We've got the results of the president, uh, President Wong's autopsy. <clears throat> Good, show it to me. Woof woof. Fighty fighty. Concussion and bone fractures found across the body, resulting from tremendous pressure. So this is what's the cause of death. In other words, he was crushed to death. Damn it. <clears throat> I thought this much. With the monster head. 
yellow stain on his chest is currently under investigation. It seems that the gunpowder residue was found on his right hand. Gunpowder? Not sunflower! I didn't know the resident was in the garden. No, gunpowder residue. Traces of the no traces of it left behind when the gun is fired. Since it has been found on his hand, it's possible that the president fired a gun. A gun, huh? But he didn't find any guns that been when you investigated the area. <clears throat> and explain gunpowder residue. I'll have to look over the autopsy report there. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Never mind. I didn't have it. The president did not die from falling off the roof of Grand Town. Rather, he died from being crushed under Mozilla's head. I can't deny it. It looks like your logic was right after all. That means our suspicions surrounding Miss Courtney should be cleared up, right? Not only the cause of death, but the timing of death proves her innocence as well. Judge Courtney met with the president two nights ago. Remember, according to the autopsy report, the time of death was around 11 p.m. last night. Mozilla's head also fell last night. It matches up perfectly. That's really good. Nope, it's not. <clears throat> it isn't it a bit too early to be relieved? Great. The president died after being crushed by the Mozilla. So who put back the head? That I will admit. But the problem is, who was responsible for the falling head? Great. Mozilla's head fell last night. Last night, the one who was at the film lot was great, not the sun. What are you saying? Surely you aren't implying. That's right. You killed him, didn't you? John Marsh. Frick ahead. He's still holding that milk. How cute. The pup is hiding something. He was at the scene where the body was discovered last night. He also saw the footprints. Despite that, he still claims to know absolutely nothing about the incident. Isn't that a bit too convenient? <clears throat> Great. Oh shit, red shape holes have not been proven to be the related to this case. Just because he saw the hole doesn't necessarily mean that he's involved in the case. In the incident, sorry. You sure about that? Take a look at the pup's face. <clears throat> Great. He looks pretty shaken up to me. Looks like he hit the mark. John doesn't want to talk about it. If he doesn't feel like talking, then I have an idea of my own. <clears throat> Just check the tape. What is your intention? <clears throat> I have the device that lets you analyze the video footage up close and personal. Agent Lang, you have to send John enough to go that far. As long as John's lips are sealed. That's right. And yours as well. This may be the only way for us to get closer to the truth. Take a country. If I'm not mistaken, you have the device with you, correct? <clears throat> Analyst ready to go, sir. Great. Now we're talking. Prosecutor Edward. I'm not a prosecutor! Would you please perform the video analysis for us? She wants me to do it. Okay. But I'm not a prosecutor! Who knows what kind of faults the old man will find in? This is exactly my strong suit, but I suppose I have no choice. <clears throat> There are any new clues shown on the video? What am I looking for here? What am I looking for? Oh fuck, what is that? That's disgusting! Who are you? Eureka. This is... What's the matter? I wanna see too! Eek! Hey, what's wrong? Show to me! You didn't see the tape yourself! I request you submit the evidence to the court! Please take a look at this little bright corner of the zoomed in video! This is your father. The president. Okay, never mind. Impossible. <coughs> huh? No way. We finally found out at last the evidence that points to the true killer. 
Thanks, John. At major disadvantage. Great. You're wrong. That's not right. I don't know anything about this. <coughs> That's not gonna cut it. It's clear that you and the victim were together at the same place where his body was found later. Great. John Marsh, there's no doubt. You killed the president. How would I kill the president? I mean, he. He's too kid. He's a kid. No, this can't be. Why would you? John, please don't tell me. Did you really kill the president? <laughs> what a funny mother. Mr. Edward, is this really decisive evidence? Mr. Prosecutor, looks like even you can't object to this. Great. That pup said he didn't know anything, right? And yet, the president's right here in the video. John, what are you hiding? <clears throat> John, please tell us the truth. You first, not him. The truth is... The truth is... It's all my fault. What's your fault? John March, what did you do? Mozilla's head fell off was all my fault. What? 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 Did you accidentally knock it off? What are you doing? Don't put your leg there. When I was setting up the equipment on the roof, I used the heater. After that, I went down to practice, but I forgot to turn it off. <clears throat> then my mom called me, so I left the film off. When I came back to the lot, after the phone call was over, Mozilla's head was that on the rooftop that had fallen off. Right next to it was the president lying dead on the ground. Great! What is he doing there in the first place? How can I be? <clears throat> There were indeed traces that something had caught on fire on the rooftop. It was just a small fire, so I was able to put it out by myself. You really are careless, aren't you? The president's death was John's fault? But would not make this an accident, sir? And then what did you do with the falling head? I took it apart, brought the pieces up to the roof, and put it back together. Whoa-ho. So you put out the fire and even put the fallen head on the rooftop. Which means you are hiding evidences that we can't be having that. Uh, we can't be having that, you naughty little pup. I didn't do it purpose. I really did just forget to turn off the heater. When the legs broke, the stand would have tilted if Mozilla's head was on top of the stand. But it would have fallen. So the head fell down because of the fire. Yes, and if that's the case, I also have a pretty good idea what caused the fire. There's a flower book hand next to the heater. Seems someone is lacking in safety awareness. Not so fast. <clears throat> was it really just an accident? If that's the truth, then what was the president doing here? I don't know. There was no one else around when I was there. You expect me to believe that? The president wouldn't have just come to a place like this without a reason, you know? Actually, what the hell is that? I don't understand why is he there. Two nights ago, he met with Judge Courtney on the rooftop of the Grand Tower. And last night, he was here at the film lot. Did he meet with John? I'll have to listen to John's testimony very carefully. Oh, great. Great! This is just great. I was setting up on the roof equipment, I used the heater. Why did you use the heater? Still young. I know it can get a little cold in the early spring, but you shouldn't have to resort to him. Precisely because he's young that he makes sure to take good care of himself. However, while it can get a bit chilly during this time of year, I wouldn't necessarily say. <clears throat> Hold it, old man! Is this really the night time to be having this argument? Ah. He did well to get the better of his threat. But please mind your language. Let's not forget he's gotten a better view too. <laughs> I know mom. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, you lost top. How cute. After that, I went down to practice, but I forgot to turn up. You know, you'd be a great judge if you weren't having those horns on your head. You forgot to turn up the heater. You didn't check it before leaving the roof? Okay. I meant it enough, but I was too focused on your practice. Great. And come on, everyone forgets stuff like that sometimes. 
Eh, gotcha. I forgot small things like that all the time. But that's a big ass thing! It's not small. <clears throat> like sometimes I'll forget to turn off an AC or the lights in Mr. Edwards. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll just jump off the ladder for the bookshelf. Or leave prank calls on his answering machine. What the hell? But forgetting to turn off the heater is very dangerous, so you gotta be very careful. <coughs> Some of the things have nothing to do with forgetfulness. John, please come here. Looks like you've got this rough too, huh? You've gotten it rough. You've got it rough too, old man. Well, back to my story. I'm not that old. I'm just 20 plus, right? Damn it. Gonna see my mom. Man, my mom called and nicked a lot. Late at night at the film lot. Not a single member of the film crew was on. So then why did you have to leave the premises in order to answer the phone call? I totally forgot about the phone call thing. So I kinda panicked. If I didn't answer it fast, I would have been busted for leaving the hotel without permission. In that case, why didn't you just answer it there? I mean, on the spot. Because I was rehearsing. All the camera and the mics are on. If I talked here, every, every last word I said to mom would have been caught on camera. So it's embarrassed that the conversation here is Mother would be recorded. Great. Anyways, I stopped practicing for a bit and rushed out of the film lot. Cute! When I came back to the lot after the phone call was over, oh, Did you lie I didn't say you were at the hotel, correct? <clears throat> Why didn't you just tell your mom that you were rehearsing? If I told her that, she would have called the hotel and made them send me send me a taxi sign. Great. Of course I would have. A lone child on the streets at the time of night. What sort of parent would allow their child to be in such a dangerous situation? These kids just don't understand how their parents feel. Go to both ways. Great. That was great. Indeed. Now then, John, please tell us about what happened after the phone call. Oh yeah, of course. When the call was finished, I came back here. Godzilla said that was on the roof had fallen. Great. Is there any indication the head was about to fall? I don't know. Let's focus on my own rehearsal. Why are you sweating? Turn off the heater, which led to a fire on the roof. I think you should have at least heard something. A crack. Heard something. I was here wearing headphones, so great! How useless. Headphones! Listening to the movie soundtrack helped me get into the scene. I had it on full bass, that's why I didn't hear anything. But you heard the phone! <coughs> See, you know this your mother's incoming call. I had my cell phone on vibrate, old man. That's how I know this. Okay, never mind. Anyways, the head had fallen. Right next to it was the president lying dead on the ground. You're too cute to be your son, you know? What is the state of the body? <coughs> I didn't get a good look. Too dark. Really? He'd be quiet as mouse. I guess John doesn't really want to remember anything about the pot. Is that only the reason why he's gone so quiet? No, oh, please, let's press. <clears throat> Didn't get a good look. Then how did you know he was there? Th that's. Well. Yep. He must be hiding somewhere. When you normally call for help if you see someone collapse on the ground. However, you did nothing of the sort, because you didn't want to get found out and you were outside. But he... He's already dead! Is that so? You seem quite certain that the president was already dead. <clears throat> now, is there a reason for that, I wonder? The guy was collapsed on the floor. Right next to him was a fallen monster's head. I'm not stupid. It wasn't hard to imagine what happened. Could we just imagine what you want? But there's no way for you not to know that he was dead. Actually, check to make sure the president was dead, didn't you? <clears throat> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I was scared, but I got up close to the body and checked to see if he was dead. Yep. Why would he hide? What? This time, in the state of the body at that time. At first, I didn't know that he was dead. I would have realized it sooner if, had, if there had been any blood. But there wasn't a single drop, and his clothes were completely spotless. Either way, he wasn't breathing. 
That's how I knew he was already dead. Okay, maybe he wasn't dead in the beginning. <coughs> okay. Would you please amend those things if they left them on please, 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 please? <coughs> what do you mean by spotless? Unable to tell if it's dead because of the lack of stains on the skull. Very certain. <clears throat> of course I am. You guys saw the body too, right? What's the big deal? He said that the area was dark and yet they are still able to speak out the other day. No observation. I'm telling you, though there wasn't a single stain in this entire body. Give it a rest, old man. Great. <clears throat> uh huh. We thought that important TV so far. It were fine. Freshly washed though. Next, could you tell me how you determined that the president was dead? <clears throat> there wasn't anything to let me know right away that he was dead, you see? But he wasn't reading at all when I checked, so I knew he was already dead. Nope, I will press you on that, but I will pause it right here, folks. So, wait, wait. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the next part, just simply wave your wand like a sorcerer and hit the like button and the subscribe button to watch out. Until then, this is Nat Narf signing off.